In this video, we will continue with radian, arc length, and area of a sector. You will find this on page 150 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at this example. Now, this is a bit more challenging because there's not value. So we will do everything in terms of R and theta and that, and that makes it more challenging. So let's look at it. The diagram shows a sector of a circle with radius R and center O. The court AB divides uh, the sector into a triangle AOB. Okay, AOB, there's the triangle. Um, uh, let's see, triangle AOB and a segment AXB, AXB. Okay, remember, this is the segment, this is the sector, this is the triangle. Okay. Um, in the case where the areas of the triangle AOB and the segment X are equal, so these areas are equal, find the value of the constant P for which theta, don't forget this, they give you this statement. Okay, we'll come to it later. But let's start. Let's start by expressing, and I'm, I'm going to make it a bit bigger, see better. Okay. So let's start by expressing the area of the triangle just in terms of R and theta. So basically the area, it's the sign. So if this is R, then this is also R, and this is theta. So it's half R, R, sin theta. Okay, the area of the segment AXB, AXB is, okay. So don't forget, it's the area of the whole, whole segment, a uh, uh, sector, minus the segment. So the sector, this is the formula, half R squared theta minus, and this is now the triangle. And what is the triangle? It's, it's the area formula. So the information is like cosine, but you, so it's a half R squared, but you use sin theta. So it's two sides with the included angle. So these are the formulas. Okay. Now, the area of the triangle is equal to the area of the segment. Okay, so remember this is now the segment. Let's, okay, let, let me get my colors. Let's make this is the segment and this is the triangle. Okay, so there is the triangle and there is the segment that I worked out. And that is equal, okay? Now, I say, oh, on both sides there's a half, so did you see? Half R squared half. So divide by both sides by that. So that will basically just cancel out. And I'm left with this. Okay. Bring this one over. Then it's going to be sin theta plus that sin theta. And that's going to be 2 sin theta. And that's theta. Okay. And then don't forget that theta is equal to P sin theta. So I substitute that in the place of theta. Okay, and now what do I do? I divide by sin theta. I divide by sin theta. But the value of P will just be equal to 2. Okay, quite challenging. So I will recommend that you do it more than once. Okay, and first cover it. Try to do it on your own. Let's look at this one. I think this is a bit even more challenging than the previous one. I'm just going to make smaller. Not bigger. To get space. Okay, let's start. In this diagram, AXB is a semicircle. AXB, AXB. Now, I'm going to try to make it as clear as possible. There is the semicircle, half circle. Okay, that's AXB. AXB is a semicircle with AB as the diameter. That is the diameter. And OAXB, OAXB is a sector of the circle. So this is the sector. Okay. And where are we? It's a sector of the circle of center O and radius R. So this radius is R. Angle AOB, this angle AOB is 2 theta radians. 
Find an expression in terms of R and theta for the area of that shaded. And I just want that shaded. Okay. So let's start. Um, I'm going to do a lot of writing just to assist you a little bit. So I'm going to start, and now I just want to see the area of the segment AXB. A -X -B. Okay. Let's just start with this. And what color will I make this one? That one is red, yellow, yellow. Okay. So I'm first going to work out the area of segment A, X, B. And that will be equal to the area. So if, you, if the area of the sector... So the area of this green, actually the sector, green, it's the area of the sector, I'll go back to yellow, minus the area of the triangle. And what was the triangle? The triangle didn't even have a color. Okay, it doesn't, and I don't have an extra color, unless I'm going to make it red in this case. Okay, so I'm going to take the sector, the green, and I subtract the red, the red, and then I'm ending up with the yellow. Okay, but remember it's all just in terms of R and theta. So if I'm going to start the area of the sector, and just your normal formula, a half R squared, but it's not theta, remember it's two theta. Minus area of a triangle, remember the sign, um, so it's a half. Then it's R squared, R times R, R squared, and then sin to theta. Okay, now that is the area of the segment, the yellow. Now I'm going to move on. Now to work out the area of this blue, the half circle, I need the radius. Now in order to get the radius, I can make a division there because then this one, will be the radius. That one will also be the radius. If this is 2 theta, because this is an isosceles triangle, this angle will be divided into half. So this angle will be theta. So if I'm, I'm just taking it out there so that you can see, because I'm going to work on it, this is going to be theta. Okay. Um, let, let's just go into, I'm just bringing an extra, let's call this the midpoint. So this is M. And this is the B, and this is O. And don't forget that this is R. But I'm looking for this radius. Okay. Let's just take another color. Uh, what color? Doesn't matter. I'm looking for this radius, this MB. This is the radius of the semicircle. So basically, I think of this is a 90 degrees. Do you see? So I can think of trigonometry. So if I'm working from this angle, then this will be my opposite. This is the 90, so this is by hypotenuse. And if I think of so, uh, to, uh, then, oh, so this will be my function, what, sin. So I'm just going to start by saying sin of um, I'm going to say theta, because remember, that's just half. There's the other theta. So sin of theta, and that is opposite. Now, let's just leave it first in terms, so it's MB. So that's actually the radius. Keep it in mind of the semicircle. MB over R. But I don't want to call it R. Then you're going to get confused. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I want this R, this new R of the semicircle. So let's just make that the subject of the formula. So if I cross multiply, I get MB is equal to R sin theta. Okay, that is my radius. So maybe I can just make a note mid here. MB is equal to radius of semicircle. Okay. That semicircle, which I got there. Okay. Okay, so now, now I can work out 
the area of let's move it up. So I'm going to say the area of semicircle A Y B because it's going this is this. It was actually marked in blue. Okay, I could have actually made it blue. Area of semicircle A or B is equal to a half. Okay, what is the area of a circle? In area of a circle, don't forget. Area circle. It's pi r squared. But now it's only a half. So it's a half pi. Let's just make it blue again. Otherwise the colors is too much. Pi. But don't forget that this is my r. Are you with me? So it's actually mb squared. But, but that. So it's r. Sin theta. And don't forget that r must be squared. Okay, so um, if I simplify this, I get a half, and r is squared, and then comes theta, and don't forget that sin is also what we write it like this, sin squared theta. Okay, that is the area of the semicircle. Right. But now, think for yourself. If I want that little red part, I must take, in this case, and this is now the step that I'm going to end with, to find that shaded area of the semicircle, I must take the semicircle, okay, and I must subtract this segment. Can you remember that segment, the yellow one? So I must take the semicircle, the semicircle, and I must subtract the segment, which is this, which is actually quite long. So let's just go and say, um, study. Shaded area, therefore, shaded area of semi circle Let me just concentrate, sir. Equals semi circle. Minus that segment. Meaning actually that blue minus and the segment was in yellow. Okay, so if I write that, I'm just going to get the blue, which is a half r squared by sin 2 theta minus the segment. And that's, oh, but now put it in brackets. Are you with me? Can I just move you? Minus a half r square two theta minus a half r square sin two theta. Just concentrate on square of theta's and this because everyone means a different thing. So just my concentrate on that. And if I want, I bring this negative now in, so it's coming to a half r square. By sin square theta minus a half r square two pi plus a half r square sin two theta. You can leave it like that, and if you really want, you can simplify. It's quite a long answer. Answer. Then you can see. Oh, I see. You have a half r square. You have a half r square. You have a half r square. So I can take out a half, just keep it red. I can take out a half r square and I can say pi sin square theta minus 2 theta and plus sin 2 theta. And I cross. And that's my final answer. Quite a long answer for a final answer.